Hey guys, welcome to Fundani. In this video, we are going to discuss about the descending tract of spinal cord in detail. With no further delay, let's get started. The mnemonic that you have to remember in order to remember the descending tract of spinal cord is roll the mat. In that, R stands for rubrospinal tract as well as the reticulospinal tract. O stands for olivospinal tract. L stands for retral corticospinal tract. Another L stands for retral vestibulospinal tract. T stands for tectospinal tract. H and E does not stand for any spinal tract. M stands for medial longitudinal fasciculus. A stands for anterior corticospinal tract as well as anterior vestibulospinal tract. T also does not stand for any spinal tract. So, in order to remember the descending tract, you have to remember the mnemonic roll the mat. I hope so that you know that the descending tract of spinal cord are subdivided into pyramidal tract and extrapyramidal tract. Among this, the retral corticospinal tract and the anterior corticospinal tract are the pyramidal tract, whereas the remaining are the extrapyramidal tract. Now, let us discuss about the insertion of both pyramidal as well as the extrapyramidal tract. Both the tract insert at the motor neuron which is situated in the anterior gray on of spinal cord. Now, let us discuss about the situation, origin as well as the function of the pyramidal tract with the help of the single sentence. The sentence is Anterior and retral hold a bachelor degree in computer science. Voluntary came forward for the personal secretary post. So, there were two persons namely anterior and retral. They completed a bachelor degree in computer science. Voluntary came forward for a personal secretary post that is available in a particular company. So, anterior and retral hold the bachelor degree in computer science. CS stands for corticospinal tract. So, anterior and retral corticospinal tract are the pyramidal tract of the spinal cord. Voluntary. So, voluntary stands for voluntary movement. Anterior and retral corticospinal tract are concerned with the voluntary movement. Came forward for a personal secretary post. Personal secretary, you can simply take it as PS. P stands for primary motor area as well as the premotor area. S stands for supplementary motor area as well as the somatosensory area. Now, anterior and retro corticospinal tract are the pyramidal tract of the spinal cord. They are situated in the anterior and retral white column. They get originated from the primary motor area, premotor area, supplementary motor area as well as the somatosensory area. And these tracts are concerned with the voluntary movements. With this, I am completing today's video. Thanks for watching. Stay home, stay safe. If you like my video, please subscribe to my channel.